Yeah, so I'm Evan Van Ness. I am a member of Consensus. I do a weekly newsletter by email called Week in Ethereum, so weekinethereum.com. And I also do a podcast that is called Unethereum Podcast because it's on the Bitcoin Podcast Network and I thought that was funny. <laughs> So what got you into Ethereum? Yeah, I was interested in uh, Bitcoin as a technology, but not really as an investment. It didn't really make a lot of sense to me. So I was looking for something that did make sense to me. And Ethereum had such an amazing vision of uh, allowing things to be built on blockchains and, or well, the Ethereum blockchain and uh, the ability to decentralize the world and hopefully make it a little bit fairer and, and more efficient was uh, just what got me really interested in the project. I like that idealism and I, I see that a lot in this community Definitely. and it seems like your newsletter is a community effort and it brings people together. Have you been able to connect with a lot of people through your, your newsletter? Yeah, I almost feel like part of the reason I started the newsletter was to be able to have more interesting conversations about this stuff and it has been a total success on that front so yeah uh, yeah just uh, got to meet a lot of interesting people and talk about their projects and that's always fun to hear how people are approaching problems so yeah so where do you see ethereum as a network going hopefully scaling <laughs> <laughs> that's the number one theme yeah definitely yeah that all about scaling. Okay, cool. So I'm from Chronologic, and we've been working with Piper Miriam on the Ethereum alarm clock. This is for scheduling transactions uh, for the future on Ethereum. Can you think of any use cases for something like this? Uh, well, not for a newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I imagine that you know a lot of developers. Uh, I remember when uh, the alarm clock came out, everybody was super excited about it. And uh, when Piper stopped working on it, uh, you know, like, I definitely heard people like, hey, what happened to the alarm clock? So it's great that y'all are bringing it back. And um, I'm sure people will figure out ways to use it in, you know, ways that I can't even imagine. Yeah. I'm just thinking, what if there was a MailChimp on a DAP and you scheduled emails to be sent in the future? MailChimp is pretty expensive. So that would, <laughs> that would be fantastic. I can't believe how much I pay per year for email. Yeah, with a crappy user interface. <laughs> yeah, which they just switched on me, and I don't, oh, okay. I don't, I don't like the new one. So yeah, I, I agree with that. Okay, well, thank you for your thoughts. And where can people go? Um, I know you already said the link, but maybe just one more time for them yes. to go to the, your newsletter. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it ad nauseum. It's weekinethereum.com, and uh, my podcast is on the Bitcoin Podcast Network. So you can find that as well. Great. Thank you so much, Evan. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for talking. All right.